Well, we've been seeing foggy mornings, but sun-filled afternoons, and really not much is changing as we start our Thursday morning. Still noticing some light fog as we look across the Ohio County traffic cams. We'll see it come and go for Washington Avenue, as well as Elm Grove and I-470. So the good news, not super dense and not super widespread like it was earlier in the week, but still a little bit more dense in spots than what we saw for our day yesterday. Though that's mainly just down along the river, not seeing any yellows or oranges like we did just that. 30 to 60 minutes ago, but still noticing at East Liverpool down through Weir and Steubenville, Wheeling, Moundsville, and on down to Mortonsville. So if you're traveling along Route 2, Route 7, make sure you do slow down and leave plenty of space between you and the cars around you. But other than the fog, really not a bad start to the morning. Currently 54 here in Wheeling with our warm spot of 56 up into Chester and Caldwell with our cool spot of 48 on over into Cambridge. So not a bad idea just to have a light jacket as you step out the door this morning but should continue to things very pleasant, especially early on this morning. So 6 a.m. currently still seeing that fog down along the river. Won't really see it thicken up a whole lot, but by the time we get to that 839, we'll start to see the fog break up and lift. So by 10 a.m., anything in the way of fog is gone. We should just see plenty of sunshine throughout the day today. I just expect to see a little bit more in the way of our high clouds than what we saw yesterday. So it's not going to be those bright blue crystal clear skies but we're still, it's going to be more like you hold a sheet of paper up to the sun. So you still see the sun, you still see your shadows, and we're still going to see our temperatures warming back up into the upper 70s this afternoon. So 79 here at Wheeling with our cool spot of 77 to Barnesville. A few spots in the 80s like 80 to Chester, Moundsville, St. Mary's, and Caldwell with our warm spot of 81 on over to Zanesville. So more of a summer-like fuel end to the week as well as summer since our first day of fall is on Saturday. But for our first day of fall, it's like a switch is flipped. We go from the 70s to the 60s, and we pretty much just stay at and even a little bit below average as we move through the weekend and next week. The only thing that could change a little bit, though, is what actually happens Saturday into Sunday. We'll still see sunshine today. We'll see sunshine tomorrow. But watch as the slow pressure starts to move up the coast Friday into Saturday. If it continues to move a little bit more west, we could see a few showers start to roll in Saturday afternoon. But if it stays off the coast a little bit, We'll just likely see cloud cover in pleasant conditions. But the good news though, Saturday is our only chance for rain by the time we get to Sunday and Monday. We'll see things clearing back out, so expect that mix of clouds and sunshine in very pleasant feeling conditions. So summer-like end to the week, temperatures in the 70s with plenty of sunshine, then a little bit more fall and gloomy like for our day on Saturday. 72, partly cloudy both Sunday and Monday before we could see a few stray showers and below 70s on Tuesday before most of us likely see showers on Wednesday with our temperatures getting back down into the upper 60s.